Unoptimized images can increase the loading time of your websites, which may drive users away. In this video, let's see how we can fix this by using responsive images and Cloudinary to make your Next.js sites faster. Let's look at a simple example. In here, I have just an image tag with an SRC pointing to an image and I have the CSS that centers everything. Looking at it at the first glance looks simple, but when we switch to a smaller screen size, we see that this image is way too big for this screen size. Now I have three versions of the image. I have the small one, I have the medium one and a large one for different screen sizes. How do we configure the browser to show that? Similar to the SRC attribute, we can add the SRC set attribute, which we can then use to specify what image to show on what size. So for the small image, the width is 640. So we say 640 and then the W unit, then we can add a comma and we can add the medium image, which has the width of 1280. And finally, we can add the large one, which has the 1920 as the width. Now on the large screen size, we get the large image, which still does not look perfect. But when we switch to smaller screen size, now we get the small image and similarly happens on the medium screen size. Now using the sizes attribute, we can specify a media query, which is for instance, max width of 640 pixels, which is basically the small screen size. In there, we can specify the width of the image. So that is going to be a hundred view width. So on small devices, the width of the image is going to be full size. Then similarly on medium screen sizes, we can say the width of the images should be 80 view width. That means 80% of the view port width. And finally, the default value is going to be 70 view width, which basically means if none of these screen sizes match, the largest screen size should have 70 as the view width. Now this is the large image and it takes up 70% of the viewport width. This is the medium sized image that takes up 80% of the view width. And finally, this is the smallest version of the image that takes up 100% of the view width. We can also compare everything in the network tab. So when we start at small screen sizes, we get the small image. Then when we gradually increase the screen sizes, we get the medium sized image. And finally, when we go full screen, we get the large image that loads up in the end. Now let's see how we can do it with the next Cloudinary package in Next.js. To set it up, all you need to do is just install Next Cloudinary and then set this environment variable as your cloud name. So I have a few images in my Cloudinary that I want to show inside of my Next.js app. Now in here, I have an array of images that is basically the name of each image. And we map over this array of images we specify the width and height and the source of the image to display all the images. Now Cloudinary automatically optimizes all your images. That way you still have different sizes of images without having to manually add them. Now in the network tab, we can see how long each image takes and how much size of it is. If you look closely, this is a total of 3.6 megabytes of data transferred. Even if we refresh the page on a small device, we still have to have 3.6 megabytes of data transferred. So the size is the same. And if the user is on a slower network, that can take even longer to load all of these images individually. With Nextcloudinary, you can simply add the sizes prop in which you can specify the max width or min width the same way we do in plain HTML. You can specify if the max width is 640 pixels, we want it to be 100 view width. Moreover, we can have the one for a slightly larger screen size, which is going to be 80 view width. Then we can specify it for medium size devices that will be 60 view width. And by default, we can set it to 50 view width. So if the screen size goes above a thousand pixels, it will default to 50 view width. Now, when we go back and hit a refresh on smaller screen devices, we can instantly see a significant difference from 3.6 megabytes to just 400 kilobytes. If we refresh on a larger screen, now we go from 3.6 megabytes to just 1.1 megabytes. Even on a slower network, this will load faster than it did beforehand, where it had larger sizes of the images. And that's how you can optimize your images for different screen sizes to save your users from leaving the site. Check out the next DevHint video about generating dynamic social media cards with Next.js and Cloudinary.